My name is Laszlo Ander, Secretary General of FEPS, the Foundation for European Progressive Studies. And I'm here with Anna Pirzalava, Secretary General of UCI. And we are discussing climate justice from the perspective of young people. Why do you think young people suddenly became so motivated about this issue? I think that young people I mean, we have always been front runners in a lot of issues, not only about climate issues, but I've seen that in other uh, social movements, young people are always the driving force. Uh, but this, this, uh, this issue, climate change, it became especially significant for young people because we have seen consequences on our everyday lives. And there is this new generation that's called Generation Z mm -hmm. coming uh, that are really taking over the power and initiative to be to be the actors for the change, not only the ones who you need to um, ask opinion only sometimes when it's uh, necessary to have young people's voice in, in general, but they really want to be decision makers, they really want to force for the changes. And I think it's really amazing to see uh, Greta and to see all these young people all over the world striking on Fridays. It's something, it's taking the global face. So this is also something very important that all people, all young people are doing it all over the world. How would you describe the Greta effect? Would it be the same with Atta? I think Greta has very specific role uh, in this uh, movement that I think she's performing amazingly. I really think role models are important, but I also think that you can't achieve anything alone. It's mm. a teamwork. I really, I'm a unionist, I'm uh, for uh, gathering in uh, organizations, in the parties, because I think only through the unions, only through the team, you can achieve the biggest changes. We have been discussing youth climate councils, mm -hmm. that such councils yeah. would need to be established and empowered. What would be the role? How do you think about this? I think it's important uh, to have youth councils and we already have uh, youth councils in a lot of, for example, in a lot of European countries we have the youth councils and they are playing quite active active role in uh, when it comes about the youth policy. But the problem with the youth councils is that they, their power is not binding. Sometimes they are only advisory and they can give very nice, very useful advices, but then the other question is if it's taken into consideration, these advi advices from the young people. But the, the, the uh, idea about the Green Youth Council is that this council will uh, specifically focus on environmental issues and they will make sure that it's mainstreamed mm. in all, all areas of the life. And it's also important when we are talking about the Youth Councils and Green Youth Councils that it's representative, that it doesn't represent only partisan youth, but it's also non-partisan young people coming from other non-governmental organizations. So it needs to be as diverse as possible. And the, the last very important factor for the youth councils is that it needs, doesn't need to be uh, overtaken by undemocratic governmental mm -hmm. forces. I'm not going to mention the countries, but we know that sometimes the youth councils are dominated by the use or um, so-called use of the um, undemocratic parties that are really mm -hmm. taking the decisions that only are benefiting the, um, the, the governments uh, that are taking really sometimes uh, damaging decisions mm -hmm. for the young people. Could you actually name uh, some fields or could you give some examples? that certain decisions, policy decisions, mm -hmm. would be different if mm -hmm. the young people have a greater say, for example, through a Green Youth Council? Yes. Um, it was also a topic of discussion uh, the past days, what young people, what it means, like what will change these youth councils. So, for example, young people can offer very different approach when it comes to transport uh, because uh, this is an environmental issue, that we need more public transport so that less cars are used. Uh, and young people would be the ones pushing for the night buses because young people will benefit from it the most. We know with, for the cultural uh, reasons, um, social reasons. So this is one of the examples. Another one uh, from yesterday in the strike, we listened a lot about the impact on the health of young people, the environmental issues are having. Therefore, I think health will be number one of the priorities uh, in, in on those uh, youth councils that how it is 
in co uh, correlation with each other and how um, young people can make it uh, more related and how can they influence on it on a positive side. I think those are uh, important two issues. There are of course many because uh, the list can continue forever but I can identify only those two right now. We learned that climate action is urgent. If you don't do something in the next few years, mm -hmm. then uh, the negative tendencies will be very hard to reverse. Yes. Um, what will you do if the political leaders do not react quickly enough? Well, I think, uh, first of all, it's important, of course, to take individual decisions and individual actions. Uh, regarding uh, climate change. So yes, of course, we have to consume less, we have to change our consumption cu cultures, but I also think that uh, responsibility mostly goes to uh, not only politicians, but also big multinational companies uh, or uh, the, the big product, product, uh, productions where, that, cons that really produce the most and that also uh, make us consume differently. Uh, so I think Politicians and political system will adopt to to the new new system that also young people are pushing for because it's necessary. It's only not about young people. It, it's going to affect everyone. So it's not something like oh we are doing it only for young people and their future, but we are also doing it for today and for now and for everyone for every generation. That's why this intergenerational aspect is also important when we are talking about uh, climate justice. So I think uh, young people it will continue to strike, uh, and it's a good thing. It's a really uh, um, once a week. Once a week, maybe every continuing every Friday until some significant changes are done and uh, some results are visible. And maybe then the protest will change the form. Maybe it will become like a more organized. Uh, Form. I don't know. There are many ways of developing the situations, but for now, I see I see the protests continuing. One last question about education, uh, mm -hmm. because I think um, we also have to work on uh, developing the content mm -hmm. in schools at various levels yes. in order to ensure that the next generation understands better mm -hmm. uh, what we already learned about the importance of protecting the climate. Mm -hmm. Um, what, what would you like to see yeah. um, I in terms of change in this field? Mm -hmm. For example, just now we had a panel discussion uh, where uh, the representative from Canada mentioned about this aspect that there is uh, the curriculum or already in the uh, educational system of one of the states in Canada where young people are already uh, learning uh, from uh, what it means, uh, like what effect it's going to have on young people. But maybe I'm mistaken, maybe it was Kenya even. I'm, mm. uh, I'm, I'm, I might be uh, not mentioning the correct country but I, I realized that some countries are already implementing this in their in their educational system and I think it's crucial like for all of the countries to have it from the initial grades that there is some kind of uh, program where young people really are uh, taught that this is b the big issue that's going to affect our lives now and in the future but I also think that the most important is also to include the tools in this um, in these books or toolkits like oh how we can contribute what we can do as an individual of course it doesn't mean that we put all the responsibility on individual elections but it also um, declares how important it is to also make small changes in a lifestyle that's right so we have to be fast learners yes <laughs> thank you very much thank you